we're actually, we're actually having a difficult time right now. We've been walking around for a while. It hasn't been a while. Paris, you're not making it easy. I remember we were having a hard time finding a restaurant that we both like. Yeah. And I think I found this place on Happy Cow, or did we just discover it randomly? I think we just discovered it randomly, and we checked out the menu and we're like, yes, let's just do it. Fine. This applies anywhere you travel, including Paris. Restaurants like Indian, East Asian, North African, there's a good chance their menu has options without meat and dairy. Yeah, and we found two dishes. We found a make-it-yourself couscous and a vegetable tagine. Vegetable tagine, which was still sizzling when it came out. Do not put that all in your mouth. It's so steaming hot. Huh. Soak it, soak it, soak it, soak it up. Oh my god. There was a farmer's market near our Airbnb. I bought a bunch of fruits and nuts and olives and some bread. Mm -hmm. And we took all that on our day trip. To Versailles. We spent the whole day looking at Louis XIV's sweet crib. And then we ventured out into the garden and had our own little picnic. Yeah. And now, for the first time in her life, here at the Gardens of Versailles, Liz is going to try a lychee. It's like the grossest looking thing ever. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got you some more. <laughs> On some days, for breakfast, we would just have stuff from the farmer's market. Or just a baguette, because baguettes are the bomb. So on this day, we walked for a long ass time, and they had some really good looking stuff. Mm -hmm. All in the tiny little itty bitty griddle. Yeah. yeah. But just as we walked in, they gave us some bad news. They're like, we're closing in 15 minutes. You can't eat here. So we had to eat at a park nearby. Yeah. And the mushroom burgers and the fries they were, were delish. delish. Yeah. But Liz was getting a little cranky. Yeah, I was just so sick and tired of eating all my meals outside. <laughs> all I wanted to do was sit down in a normal restaurant and not be bothered. Right. Are you feeling better, honey? I enjoy the challenge of finding vegan options in a non-vegan restaurant. Mm -hmm. This place had an authentic Parisian vibe. It was cool. Look at that. And Liz got fish, and I got a salad, which was actually really good and refreshing. Yeah, it was really tasty. After eating a bunch of junky food. Yeah. On another night, Liz wanted to try French onion soup. So we went to this really corny place. Yeah, we were just tired of walking around. It was like again. the midtown of Paris. Yeah, it was like Times Square. But uh, she got French onion soup, I got French fries, which happened to be my favorite food. And then there was another night, she wanted to check out this famous dessert place called Angelique. Everybody recommended it to me. They said, you have to go there. It has the best hot chocolate ever. And what did you get? A chocolate cupcake? It was like a chocolate mousse thing on top of some weird like wafer cookie thing. Uh -huh. It was just gross. And I got a sorbet, which was quite delicious. Yeah, that looked really good. See, now everybody's happy. Quick, put this in your purse. Put it in your purse. Put it in your purse. And then on a couple nights, Liz really had a hankering for a cheese crepe. So cheese crepe, man. She kept getting them, and then I got kind of annoyed, and we got into a fight. Yeah. You don't have to get me when curious. I'm on vacation when I told you from the get-go that I wanted to get cheese. I'm just curious why it's not sinking in. But it didn't last very long. No. No. Is it American? I'm asking her. Yeah. Do you know how to... No. How do you say, is this vegan? Est-ce que c'est végétarien? Est-ce que c'est végétarien? Est-ce que c'est végétarien? Végétarien is vegetarian. Uh -huh. It's the same. What if it's vegetarian but not vegan? It's just, you just say végétarien. Uh -huh. And then if it's uh, plant-based and vegan, you say végétarien. With an L. Yeah. The difference is so subtle. Yeah. But I think that today, if you just say vegan, mm. yeah. people actually understand. Um, and yeah. A lot of 
restaurants actually use vegan on their menu yeah. they just don't even go to for the French word it's just like vegan oh, interesting. that's our Parisian friend Mary she took us to this place called Hank Pizza and, and I guess they have a sister restaurant called Hank Burger which we've heard is good as well yeah but we went here and I was very, very this was probably my favorite meal yeah happily surprised oh look at that <laughs> And we scarfed it down, and then like a half hour later, Maria was finally done with hers. Yeah. Oh yeah, we ate our food so fast, <laughs> we were done within 20 minutes. No, like 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. And it really showed us the cultural difference. Well, we kind of like hung out and we're chatting. Yeah. But yeah. We felt like American pigs. Yeah, we're day. like, oh shit. <laughs> Is it growing here in Paris, the vegan movement? I think so. Um... For example, um, last weekend we had two um, Christmas markets that were vegan. Really? Yeah. How does it compare to a non-vegan Hawaiian pizza? Pretty good. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> well, that concludes our vegan adventure in Paris. Yay! But there were a lot of places that we want to try that we didn't get to. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. So I guess we'll have to go back. Oh, well. Oh well, a bientôt Paris. Say it. A bientôt Paris. Merci et au revoir. Merci à ou à. Merci à ou à à ou à à i. Au revoir.